Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad Series T580. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can service clean up your laptop. You should be doing your own cleaning and uh, servicing, thermo thermal paste cleaning for your CPU, fan cleaning once every, at least every year depending how often you use it. If you're not a heavy user, at least once every year and a half or two years. But if you're daily using it five, six hours a day, I would recommend you to do it in between eight to nine months or 10 months at least for your uh, cleaning of the laptop. This will keep the health of the motherboard and the components um, uh, better, so I highly recommend it. Just remember by replacing the thermal paste, doing your own service, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything is gonna be left the way you had it before. So you pretty much just clean it, Put everything back together and reuse it. All right. So first thing first, you want to power up the laptop, flip it upside down, and remove the external battery. I'm gonna go over the tools I'll be using. Tool number one, it's a good screwdriver set. Uh, I fixed screwdriver set are one of the best screwdrivers out there to use for your electronics. They have a really S2 class steel bits. That means they're really tough and steel. They're really good. I purchased myself this small basic tool set. But if you have extra money, you can buy the Pro Set that will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a metallic guitar picks. Those are really suitable to opening cases and cover. A curved or straight tweezers is good to have. A spatula, plastic one. 99% uh, or 98% isopropylic or isopropylic alcohol to have it. One sheet of the workshop towel. The reason is for the workshop towel and not microfiber towel. As soon as you put an alcohol over and you try to clean the board, this will rip apart and will prevent damage on the components. Unlike the microfiber towels, you can clean the board, with, it can get tangled around the tiny capacitors and you can rip them. So use this. For thermal paste, you can go with an Arctic MX4 or MX6, or if you want to go overboard, overkill, which is not necessary, a thermal grizzly, you can use that too. All right, with all this said, let's get into it. Oh, uh, use our new toothbrush to clean the fan system. All right, down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and they were not removable. What that means they have a little something called a C-lock on the other side of the screw that will prevent it from coming out. So pretty much as soon as I start rotating, I can sit there for hours and rotate and this will not come out. I can see that it's dangling right there. I'm gonna leave it like that. You wanna do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we loosen up all the screws down here, we're gonna grab ourselves the opening tool. And we are gonna open up the screen a little bit. This, this guy is the broke the screen cover in here a little bit, but the screen is still good. You're gonna stick the opening to between the palm rest and the bottom cover, and we're gonna just rotate, twist it like this, and you wanna hear those click sounds. That's what you wanna hear. You do that all around in the front. And you can work to the sides. The side is already opening, but if it didn't, you can just go in there and just lift it up, go to the back corner, and lift it up. Once you did the sides and the front, you can just grab it from here, wiggle around, lift it up, twist it, and it will release the tiny clip on the back side. You can take it outside, use a toothbrush, clean up the dust mesh in here, and or even wash it, leave it for drying. All right. And down here, we can see the motherboard, the two RAMs, the hard drive, an extra weight for the battery, and the heat pipe, and one fan right there. First thing first, we're gonna disconnect the fan connector right in here. We don't wanna yank on the cable, that's bad. You don't want that, you can damage the cables. You wanna put your fingernails on the side of this white jack right in here and push them away, just like this, and the jack will come out nicely. Just as straight, you wanna push it out. All right, so first we're gonna remove one screw right by the fan in here. The screw again has a little C-lock. And then we're gonna remove four screws on the heat sink on there by the CPU. Again, this one has a C-lock too, so pretty much loosen up all the screws. All right, once you loosen up, just grab it from the corners here. Maybe it's not loosen up all the way, there you go. 
and just lift it up, bring it over. So there we have it. So that's the heating, the old thermal paste in here, and the fan. Sometimes the fan is really dirty, you take it outside with a toothbrush, you can clean it up and blow some air through here and the dust will come out. But if you want to really clean it, deep, deep cleaning, then you might want to remove these two screws down here. These are a Phillips double zero. Remove two, two tiny screws. All right, once you remove these two tiny screws, you want to loosen up this clip with your finger just in here and lift it up in here to lift it up. And the fan will come out like this. Is there a sensor cable that goes all around in here? Don't yank on that cable. You need that cable in there. So open it up just in 45 degree angle so you can lift up all any clogged up dust in here. Don't force it and just clean up with a toothbrush and blow some air and then close it back down. Make sure this clip goes over and put the two tiny screws right on the bottom. Actually, I think you can use a double zero. It's better to use the double zero Phillips. Now we're gonna grab one sh another corner of the towel. We're gonna put an alcohol right on top, soaking in alcohol or dipping in alcohol, and then we're gonna wipe over the CPU. Just doing a circular motion, remove any excess of thermal paste. Don't worry if the thermal paste goes around, it's not conductive. You can see this rips apart and prevents the damage. Use a dry part to do nice pass on top. Put your two fingers at the back of the heat sink so you don't bend the tubing and clean up the heat sink. There we go. Now all you need to do is, the main die is the CPU, the secondary die is the PCH chip. So put one line on the main die and one tiny line on the PCS chip. You want to grab the heat sink, bring it straight over, put it down, and you want to cross the screw them always. Follow the number, it says one, two, three, four, or you can go two, one, four, three, doesn't matter as long as you cross the screw them. By cross the screwing, you will uh, spread the thermal paste evenly over the CPU. All right, and tighten up the screw by the fan. Grab the connector for the fan here and align it in front of the jack and then push it, slide it inside the connector right there. Once you're done in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push down the back, the front, and you want to hit those click sounds. That's what you want to hear. And to finish it off is to put the bottom screw, tighten it up. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out through your own service. For you Lenovo ThinkPad and laptop, if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws. And once you did that, all you need to do is grab the battery and slide it right over.